Hey ladies, it's Connie here. Um, hope you guys are having an awesome Friday so far. I just wanted to come up here and give you guys um, an update. I had my hysteroscopy done yesterday. Yay! I'm so relieved and so glad it's over. Um, it was, Afterwards I felt like such a great sense of accomplishment and just something like I, it was something I had been anticipating for over a month and so I'm just glad that it's over with. So the numbing shots were, um, they were kind of like what my one of my subscribers described as getting um, shots in your gums you know, by a dentist before he starts working on your teeth. Um, Trina, you were so right about that. Um, it was exactly like that. Um, so getting those shots weren't fun, but it was not something that was unbearable, um, like crazy pain or anything. You could definitely feel a pinch, and she gave me shots, I think, in three or four different areas of my cervix. And then she left me, and she said that um, we have to wait for the numbing medication to kick in. And the longer we wait, the better. So um, after a while, I was transferred into the actual procedure room and as I was waiting for her I was just kind of like you know letting the anxiety kick in the anxiety medication kick in and also the numbing and so it was probably we probably waited a good half hour of um, allowing the numbing to set in before the actual procedure started so then um, she came in to the procedure room and she picked up the hysteroscope <laughs> And that's when I freaked out. That's when the official freaking out started because it looks like a really skinny metal piece, like a metal gun, and then it has this long, like, stick on it. It, it just, it looks very scary. Okay. So it's like made out of like steel, I guess, or something. And I was like, holy cow, is that going to go inside me? And sure enough, that was the hysteroscope. So I was a little nervous, but then as soon as she put it in, I couldn't feel anything. Now, around this time, she also told me about some kind of saline water solution that she was going to be using to distend my uterus. Basically, it's going to kind of make it swollen so that she could see things inside better. Um, so I felt like cold water sort of running down my body bum the whole time um, it didn't bother me or, or anything it actually felt kind of nice but um, I think it was the saline water that was being pushed in to my uterus and then coming back out somehow I don't know the mechanism behind it but I think that's what it was and she told me that she had she's gonna dilate my cervix a little bit so that she can get in there um, and of course there was a monitor on my left side that I can see everything going on and one of the first things that she saw when she went through my cervix was a polyp. So I was like, whoa, that polyp is huge. But then she was like, no, 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 that's just a blown up version because everything on the screen is magnified. So I was like, oh, okay. And then when she took it out, it was like this tiny, tiny little piece of fleshy, you know, fleshy tissue that came out and I was so surprised because it looks so big on the screen. So then she took it out and then um, she proceeded to go in through my uterus even more and there was a lot of like cotton candy like fibrous stuff going on and then um, she started she started cutting away some things other things as well like what she considered maybe a polyp or some sort of abnormal tissue and the cutting tool was really funny. I mean, imagine like, like scissors, like like jaws, kind of like it had little teeth on the bottom and the top, and it was like, chomp, 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 chomp. So that was really funny. Um, it looked huge on the monitor once again, but it's actually a small little tool. And when she was in there looking around, I couldn't really feel much of anything, which I was really happy about. Um, but then at one time when she was looking around, she kind of poked me, and I was like, oh. And she's like, oh, sorry. But, and then right after that, I felt sort of like a dull cramping sensation that was very faint. And then it went away. Um, so I would say the entire procedure took about 30 to 40 minutes. 
Um, and she cut away, I would say, about four to five, maybe six different little abnormal things that were pieces of tissue. Um, the biggest one that I saw, I can't really describe how big it was. I would say like that, I don't even know if you can see me doing what I'm, what I'm doing with my finger, but it was like about that big. And um, so yeah, um, I think she, and she was like, okay, I'm gonna go in again and take a look around. Um, and she pretty much just took out whatever she thought was not normal. And she's like, I think I did a pretty good job of cleaning you out in there. And um, definitely you're, you have a different uterus now. It's a little bit different from before. And after the procedure, um, she proceeded to talk to us about our next steps, which I was really surprised with because she, she almost addressed the very thing that was concerning me for the last couple of weeks. And that is, after the hysteroscopy and my uterus heals, should we go and do an IUI straight away? Or should we try naturally for a couple months? Now that I have a clean slate, um, I got you know pretty much all the major fertility blood work that I was supposed to get. All the levels are normal, AMH, FSH, everything. Um, and I got my HSG done now. Everything's clear. My my tubes are not blocked or anything. Um, and now the hysteroscopy with the removal of some of these polyps and abnormal tissue. I don't know. I, I was like, should we try for a couple months? and Or should we just do an IUI straight away? So she started telling me, so what are your plans? And, and are you guys going to do IVF? And, and I was like, no, we're actually thinking of doing IUI. And she's like, well, she's like, you know, I know you're kind of concerned about your age, but, you know, I have a really good feeling about you guys, you know, and maybe you should try to get pregnant for maybe three or four months and then maybe go and do the IUI. And it was kind of a relief because I had been asking myself that question and she, here she was, a great OBGYN that I really liked and trusted and she was giving me her professional opinion. Um, so, I don't know guys, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what I'm going to do at this point. i um, still thinking about it. What do you think? Um, I'm 38 years old, my husband and I have been trying for over a year now. It's been a year and maybe three or four months and I've pretty much done all the procedures and everything. I don't know, what do you think? Should I do an IUI or should I try for a couple months? So I would love your opinion. I'd love to get your thoughts. Um, for those of you guys who have been following me before, you kind of know my story. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think. So um, that's pretty much it. After the procedure, I came home. I was feeling fine. I took uh, three Advil and like I was supposed to by, you know, my nurse told me I should take three Advil when I get home. And then a couple hours after that, I got very lightheaded and super nauseous. The nausea would not go away. I don't know what caused that. Maybe it was all the medications, but I was so nauseous that I couldn't even eat dinner. And all I wanted to do was go into my room and lay on my bed, close my eyes and sleep. And that's what I did. So I probably got 11 hours of sleep last night and um, very little spotting. So I'm feeling nor pretty normal right now. I think just maybe another day of rest, I'll be back to my old self, and yeah, so <sighs> just really glad I got this out of the way. Um, thank you so much for all your thoughts and all your prayers, and um, wishing everyone else out there um, who haven't got their BFPs yet uh, baby dust, and yeah, so thank you so much for listening, guys, and um, yeah, let me know your thoughts below. I'll catch you in the next video.